Hello everybody, this is I'm Press Happy 2. I'm back with the video again, you guys. Coming to share something new with you guys uh, that I picked up. Uh, first, before I get into it, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel. If you love handbags and makeup and other things, you should love my content here on my video on my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm just going to jump into it. So you guys know, I've probably, I know I've mentioned this before. So Dunienberg is my favorite brand. I've been rocking with Dooney since 1992. Um, they just have the best quality of handbags overall, in my opinion. Although I have tried other brands, but I still go to my Dooney and Burke. Let's just keep it real. Dooney and Burke is, I don't know. I love Dooney and Burke. Love the quality. That's what drew me to them back in 1992. So I was able to pick up two items of the small zip around wallets. I did not have these colors in my wallet collection that I created just over the years um i used to be more of a black and brown dark brown colored wallet person i figured that would go with any handbags so over the years i've ventured out with colorful handbags and colorful wallets so i wanted these two colors that i can carry with other handbags as well so these are my two pebble grain small zip around wallets in the color dandelion this is such a beautiful color this is dandelion these come with a coin zip pocket in the back and the interior is red the standard red dooney color it has this front pocket here, which I love, and the Dooney gold tone label here, metal label, label, and it also has the braided zipper pulls. I love the braided zipper pulls, and I think I just closed it back up, so sorry. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It has that beautiful terracotta leather interior. A rich color it looks very rich looking um, it has let's see one one two three four so it has eight card slots on each side it does not have any pockets on the center part of this but you get this interior slip pocket for your bills or whatever you want to put in there this is beautiful so this is in the color dandelion i don't have anything in this color dandelion of small leather goods by Dooney. so i think this is my first and then the next one is the pink i have been wanting this for a long time I can use this with my pink fuchsia buckley that I have in Florentine. I I don't think I purchased a wallet for that one, but I can use this for it if I want to. And again, it has the front pocket. It has the back zipper coin pouch as well and the uh, braided zipper pull as well with the gold plate. Dooney Burke uh, plate on the front. It has the same setup on the inside as well. This doesn't have anything on it. It's just a Dooney Burke tag. Same card slots amounts and the same slip pocket. Everything's the same, just different colors. And this is in pebble leather. I just like these two springy summer colors. So I got this as well. And then I was able to 
um, I'm not, I can't remember what sale they had and when, but I was able to get two of the large or medium, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm about to yawn. Two medium Florentines of brown wallets. I got one in the color natural and the color black. I did not necessarily have to have the red or the Bordeaux or um, Timor Brown. I didn't have to have it. Maybe later, maybe I'll get Timor Brown if it's available. But I got these two. And of course, the brown, this natural one, that tissue paper left a mark on this one, which is okay. Hopefully, it'll start blending in because I'm currently using this right now. So, this is what this looks like on the inside. I have the receipt in here, as you can see, for CVS coupon. So, that's what that looks like on the inside. I love... The smell of quarantine leather, and this has a leather uh, Dunningberg logo on there. So I'm currently in that one. So this is the black one. This one came with this little indention right here, which is fine. I don't have a problem with it. Um, it doesn't have the mark from the tissue paper. And this is, they both have the gold zippers. Zipper. And this is what this one looks like on the inside. It has a lot of slip pockets here, large slip pockets. So you could put a lot of your cards in here. If you love credit cards, you have plenty of space for credit cards. This is the inside zipper. If you want to put coins, it has a slip pocket right here. It also has one on the other side. So a lot of space. And I actually found out about this on Dooney Attic 615, her video as well. She showed a video with some of these wallets, Florentine Medium Zip Around Wallet on her channel. So you might wanna check out her channel to see her view on these wallets as well. Um, I think this might be the receipt. So I actually these are so I was able to get these. They were $59.40 is what these cost. And that's nowhere near what these originally cost. So I definitely don't like paying the full price for stuff. So that worked out. So I was able to get those two. And it has plenty of space in here as well. As you can see, this is the tag on here. It doesn't have, it just has black, black. So this is in the color black, black is what this one is. Black, black. Um, if you don't have these wallets in your collection, I would suggest that you add them in. If you have any Florentine type of handbags, these would work with you. I also have these in the small zip around wallets as well. And I think all, all the colors, natural colors that they have, I have them in those colors. And I use those constantly in my bags because they are a big help. And these are going to be as well. So that's the zip around, 14 zip around, medium zip around bag. And lastly, this is the last thing that I'll be showing you that I got from Dooney in this small dust bag. I had been wanting a camera bag uh, for a little bit. I have a red camera bag by a different brand. I never did have it by Dooney. I was able to pick up the natural Florentine camera bag, and I did do a video on that one, so you should have you should have seen that one uh if, if i have not i'll probably have to make a video but this is my camera pebble grain camera bag in the color coral or is it salmon or, either salmon or coral coral i think it might be salmon though um 
Let me see if I have my paperwork in here. I keep these little uh, tags. I'm trying not to drop nothing, you guys. The little tags here. Let's see if it's on here. So. Okay, so I was correct. It is the camera zip crossbody in the color coral. So this is the color coral here. So that's what this is in the color coral. And of course the registration paper. I have all the registration papers to my handbags that I have of Thuni. So this is what she looks like on the inside. She comes with the slip pocket, the leather Thuni tag, red interior, and there is a slip pocket on the other side as well. No zipper pocket on the inside. Come with this key keeper. And this one is actually short. I can't believe it. Short. And she also has this front zipper pocket, which is smooth. And my phone does fit inside here. Um, I have a... I think it fit. It should fit because it fits in my Florentine. Uh, actually, it don't fit. Okay, so I guess it don't fit in my Florentine natural color camera zip uh, crossbody. She does not have feet, as you can see. This is the side with the leather tag here and gold hardware. And she does not have the braided zipper pull, as you can see. But it is a nice leather zipper pull. So, yes, this will be another summer spring uh, crossbody bag that I will be wearing as well. I had been wanting this crossbody in this color in the pebble grain. So, I was able to snag that on ILD. I think everything that I've been wanting, I've been getting on ILD. <laughs> this is the double strap here for this crossbody you can use it as a single strap as you can see i have both attached because i will be wearing it as a crossbody and it has the gold hardware as well so those are the four items that i uh, got from the different sales that they had on ILD. I was able to snag those up again with not paying the full price on these items um, below the actual full price. So check ILD out and Dooney and Berg's website as well because they both have good um sale prices and they do have price sale prices going on right now if you're wanting a Dooney and Burke handbag or small XLGs check them out before I close I'm going to share with what I am currently carrying right now so I am currently carrying my Florentine uh, dome uh, satchel right now. This is what I am currently carrying. I know I didn't do a video on this, but this is what I'm carrying right now. It has a zipper pocket here in the front. Now, my phone does fit in this zipper pocket. Um, it has the kind of a matte, brassy gold hardware. She does have feet, as you can see. Um, she's been a little scratched up which is fine i'm fine with it i haven't gotten her wet or anything this is the leather dooney patch here logo it has the fold down handles which is why i chose this one so the handles would go down if i wanted to i have my dooney burke multicolor pastel colors of uh, charm this is the first time that i have carried and used this I 
do like it a lot. And these are leather. It came with this uh, attachment along with the charm. So, which is nice and... It's nice and heavy. Nice uh, weight to it. This is the back side. As you can see, she does have some imperfections in her leather, which is fine. Um, I'm fine with it. I just love the smell of the leather. I'm infatuated with the love smell of uh, Florentine leather. The handles do come down in the back as well on this one. Only thing I kind of get tired of this part here. It kind of goes in. I don't know why it does that. Um, the weight of it is no different than the other side. It has a double zip, double zippers. These are the leather pulls on these. They're not the braided ones. So I usually keep it unzipped unless I'm out or something. Then I'll zip it. It did come with a long double uh, leather strap. And this leather strap is pretty... Uh-oh. I'm going to drop this up out of my bag. Um, the strap on here, I'm going to just zip that. This leather strap is pretty thick. As you can see, it's wider than some of the other straps on the Dooney & Burke handbags. And the thickness is pretty thick. It has a lot of adjustable holes here where you can adjust it on you. And same brassy gold hardware. And you have two. You can... Um, Use it as a shoulder strap or crossbody so you can take it off if you want to. I just love these handles because they're loose. You can fold it down. It does not leave a mark on the bag. So far, I have not experienced that. It can get a little heavy the more stuff that you put in here. I will tell you that. And excuse me because I'm sweating. Um, I didn't want to turn the fan on because it will be too loud. So I'm currently using this natural Florentine wallet with this. And as you can see, it has started patina um, on it. It has a patina on it to where it's getting a little darker than it was and the bag. So this is what it looks like on the inside. The standard Dooney uh, setup. I won't take everything out, but it has a zipper pocket and a slip pocket. In two slip pockets, I have my lipsticks, lip glosses in here, and my uh, hand sanitizer, thanks to Mono Beauty. I love these little Touchland hand sanitizers. They fit right in your slip pockets with no problem. And I have two, a cosmetic bag, a coin pouch here, my Aspinall of London uh, pouches and my pencil pouch that I have down there in a card uh, holder and this is actually coach <laughs> I like this color so I kind of put some of my cards in here this is what this looks like on the inside so and it has a little pocket on the outer part it comes with a lot of pockets. They have a pocket here, a pocket here, your card slot here, another card slot here, which I don't have. And then two card slots here, as you can see my little Sephora card um, in here. So this comes in handy. I just stick it down in here and go. And it holds my keys, my little Kim candy pouch. Uh, thanks to Subswood. Thanks to Subswet sharing her this brand of these pouches. Um, I cannot remember the name of this pouch. I don't know if it's a tag in here. Probably not. I got my little candies in here. I can't remember the name of this pouch, the company that make it, but um, I keep my little peppermints in here. And my cough drops, my Ricolas, because I cough. Sometimes these are my little Ricolas that I love sucking on those. 
when my throat gets dry and scratchy. So, this little pouch, shout out to Suds What. This was because of you, Suds. I got that. Pretty much that's it. Um, that's in my carry what I have right now. This is this is what I'm currently carrying. My quarantine uh dome satchel um double zip bag. I like this bag a lot. It holds a lot. Right now it's a little heavy because I probably have too much in it. But you know that leather gets kind of heavy anyway. So I am going to stop this video because i am at 20 minutes already and i did not mean to go that long but i knew it's gonna be kind of long because i have more to show you for the Dooney products so anyway thank you for watching this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out i would appreciate it and don't forget to leave a comment regarding the items that you have seen i will see you guys in another video um, I do have a grand video that I'll be doing, um, that I'll be showcasing after these videos. Not sure if I'll get to them this evening, get to it this evening, but there are two items that I have to share, um, that's really a grand thing for me. So, I just want to put that out there. So I will see you guys in my next grand video. Um, so be look out, be on the lookout for that. Again, thank you for watching this video. Have a good Saturday evening. Peace out.